and welcome to my channel Obsidian Soft. Today I will teach you how to make a scary interactive card. You can use it for Halloween or to wish a friend a very spooky happy birthday. So let's begin. First click on create. You know the drill. Get rid of Scratchy the cat. Our card will have two stages. That is two backdrops. I will be uploading an image of a haunted house. I will be giving the links to all the resources that I have used in this card in the video description. This is our haunted house. You can use your own image but make sure that the haunted house has a front facing door. Okay, because I will be adding a little bit of animation to this door, a spooky animation. I'm just going to hide the original door of the haunted house. First convert it to vector because it's easier to manipulate that way. I need to add a rectangle here to cover the door. Give it the fill color of the windows. Bring the whole image down. Fill up the top portion with the same color as the sky. I'm just going to make a rectangle and give it the fill color exactly the same as the sky we don't need the outline so this is set now we need to add the opening and closing door here it will add the spooky effect to it for that i need to paint a sprite and i will be painting the sprite which is basically a rectangle right on top of the door of the haunted mansion so i just dragged it here let's give it a dark color we don't really need the outlines. Now look at what I'm going to do. Let me magnify it a bit. Duplicate and choose this tool, the reshaper tool. Click on it. Bend it a little bit from here and a little bit of here. And it looks as if the door is opening. Okay, do you see that? Duplicate it again. Bend it further. What we will do is that our animation will run with, between these three costumes. Door closed, door slightly ajar, and then further open, and then it suddenly slams shut. So that's a spooky animation for you. Let's add another sprite. I'm going to upload this sprite. Pumpkin. I got four pumpkins. So I'm just going to go to the costumes and I'm going to get rid of the extra pumpkins by choosing my eraser tool and making it bigger so that it's easier to delete them. And now I will convert it to vector. First magnify it a little bit. I need to duplicate it because this is the unlit pumpkin and we need this image. Duplicate it. Use the line tool. Draw over the eyes. Triangle. Give it a yellow fill. Copy the same triangle. Paste it. And flip it horizontal to fill up the other eye. Okay. Cool trick, isn't it? Now we need to make the nose and the mouth. Same process, give it the same fill. Now we can use the color picker tool. Okay, let's make it a little bigger. And I will trace the mouth in almost the same way. Remember, it doesn't have to be very, very exact. I can't really see what's happening. So let me make the outline some other color so that I can see what's happening. Approximately the same shape as the original mouth. It's some patient work here, but totally worth it. Okay, let's fill it. Okay, see? It's as if the pumpkin is glowing. I can add an intermediate costume between these two costumes to make the animation final. So let me quickly do it. Now, in this middle costume, what I just need to do is that I need to make the eyes as if they're just starting to glow, okay? Just make these triangles that we drew smaller, okay? Now the image will actually look like this and then the full glow. Let's put the pumpkin in place, make it smaller, 40. So let's add the animation part. Let's rename them pumpkin one, pumpkin two, and pumpkin three. Before going back to the unlit costume, we want to repeat pumpkin 2. So first the unlit costume, then slightly glowing pumpkin, and then the fully glowing pumpkin, and then the slight glowing pumpkin, okay? So let's go to the code. This is our first stage. The pumpkin will show on our first stage. So let's go to events. When flag is clicked, show and wait for some time, and then start the loop for the glowing part. So forever go to the next costume and then wait for 0.2 seconds 
So let's try it. We can slow down the glowing effect. Let's make it 0 0.3 seconds. I think this is better. Now we can duplicate this pumpkin. Pumpkin 1. We can make another pumpkin. And it will have the same code as pumpkin 1. We can put it somewhere here and make it smaller. 30. Again duplicate it. Okay. They look nice. All of them are glowing. Now let's come to the door. When the flag is clicked, we want the door to show just like the pumpkins because this is our first stage and we want to shift to costume 1. Okay. In the beginning, switch costume to costume 1. And remember that we want the stage to be of the haunted house. So let's switch backdrop to house. And in our forever loop, what we are going to do is that we are going to switch costume to the door slightly open which was costume 2 add a little bit of delay of 0 0.3 seconds okay duplicate and this time the door is further open we will make the delay now 0 0.7 seconds and then the door will just shut and we will switch the costume to the closed door and you can see that it's spookily moving now for four seconds and this whole cycle will start and we can add a creaky door sound to it but you have to change it slightly so that it goes with the door okay so we already have door opening and door shutting sounds in scratch type in door i get the door creak again so i get the door closing so i have the door creak sound and the door closing sound and what i just need to do is that i need to copy this sound copy it and paste it at the end you have to time it with your actual door opening and closing okay change it here to suit your animation what we just need to do now is that start the sound when the forever loop starts so this goes fairly well we can always change it further by going to the sounds okay so this animation is done and we can also add some music to the card i already have a music so i will just upload it i will give the link to this music in the video description we just need to add another flag clicked event to it that when flag is clicked forever play the music so play sound 7 march what i want is that whoever sees the card should be asked to click on this door and then this will take us to the second stage so i will be adding an arrow here you can add animation to it and another thing is that i will be adding some messages to it and for that i use this website for making my messages like enter at your own risk i can give it a color like red or orange and just click on generate and this will generate a png file so you can just save the image wherever you are keeping all your resources so i've already done that so i will add the text to my card so i will just go to upload sprite enter at your own risk a message has been added and the code that i will add for this sprite is here i'm just changing the size of it inside a forever loop making it bigger then waiting and then making it smaller okay look at this this is what is happening to this I need arrow here so I will be adding that so this is the first part of our card and it is done and it is looking quite cool and our arrow is going up and down it is animated the door is opening and closing the pumpkins are glowing and we have this spooky text on the top so the first thing is that we need to add a message enter house and that message is sent when the door sprite is clicked so going to the door code going to the event when this sprite is clicked broadcast a message called enter house okay just click on new message and just type in enter house so when this message is broadcasted we have to make sure that all the sprites that are showing on the first part of our stage disappear and not only should these sprites disappear the animations should stop too and the way to go about it is that when it receives the message enter house it should stop not all the scripts but other scripts in this sprite that is this script that is running and then it should hide make sure that you do not do stop all or stop this script otherwise this script will not run and we can just drag this block onto the second pumpkin and all the other sprites that we want to hide after stopping other scripts in them 
when I'm dragging it here, this jiggles a little bit. This means it's ready to receive this. And now you can see it has this. Do the same thing for all of them, okay? And for the door, we want that after it broadcasts enter house message, it should also stop all this scripts and it should hide. So that is done. So now we need another stage for our second part of our card. And if we go to backdrops, we already have this backdrop one here, it's empty. So what we can do is we just make a rectangle, remove the outline and make it dark purple. Inside the code of our backdrops, what we can do is that when it receives the enter house message, it should switch backdrop to the second one, backdrop one. See, the stage is set for our second part. Now we need this ghost sprite which is already present in scratch resources. So if I just type ghost, we have it booing us, scaring us and then it's as if rushing off the screen. First let's make it size bigger, make it 200. So it will be gliding up and then suddenly booing us, scaring us, and then rushing off the screen. And it will look very cool. Let's add the code for it, that when flag is clicked, it should not show itself, it should hide. Let's make sure that it's at the correct position. So let's store its current position, and that is go to this thing. So make sure that it is at the right position, and, and then it should stay hidden. And we want that its size is also at 200%, so set size to 200%. And when it receives the message that the door has been clicked and someone is entering the house, then it should show itself, glide up, boo the person who has entered the house and then just whiz off the screen, okay? So when I receive enter house, I should show myself and then glide to somewhere here. So I'm just going to choose that position, glide here, 0.2 seconds, I should switch the costume to the scary one. So switch costume to ghost C. Okay, so this is looking nice. And then we want it to rush off the screen after a delay of 0.5 seconds and then switch the costume to where it is going off into the other direction. So ghost D, this is ghost D. Just add a little bit of delay because we want to see the ghost in this costume. So just add a 0.3 seconds delay. We don't want it to be so fast that we don't even see what's happening. And then it just glides off the screen, okay? So let's see where it needs to go to glide off the screen, this position. And just it glides out of the screen and then it hides. Glide not too slow because it's actually whizzing off the screen. So it just whizzes off and then it hides. Okay, and we can add some sound effects here too. So go to sounds and if I just search for it, I can find a whiz and we have a scream too. Okay, so we can use these to make our card more fun. We can add the scream when it scares us and switch his costume to go see. So here we can start the sound scream and here we can start the sound the whiz. Okay, when it's whizzing off the screen. <laughs> and now the last thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to just add a Halloween message or a happy birthday message to it here. And then when that message is shown, we are going to start some music. I will add Ghostbusters music to it, perfectly suited for a spooky card. And I'm just also going to add some star falling effect. I've already done that tutorial about confetti and how you can add special effects in Scratch. I will just quickly do that in front of you. Upload the Halloween message. I'm adding a Halloween message. You can have a birthday message. Make it bigger, 150%. Let's add some music. So go to sounds, upload sound. This is the Ghostmasters music. Another thing is that before the ghost hides, we need to send a message that happy Halloween or the birthday, happy birthday message should show. Okay, so just go to events and broadcast a message, show a message. And when this happy Halloween message receives the broadcast that show message, it should show itself and it should be hidden in the beginning. Okay, 
and I've also added a star here and when it receives the message it will create a clone of itself and start falling from the top okay so this is what I was talking about the special effects in scratch and you can look at the tutorial for that <laughs> hope you like this video and this class and you understood what I have taught today. Do share my video with your friends and family. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Thank you for watching today. Happy Halloween and goodbye.